spots that just need to be sanded down from chiseling the sound dentoning up so I'm gonna try to just sand down as much as possible to get it smooth um, and then there's a couple of rough spots around here just from wear and tear so I'll also try sanding those down too Once it's smooth, I can get to just taping off areas so it doesn't get paint everywhere. I'm still trying to decide if I want to paint up here or into the quarter panel areas or just leave that as is and move from there. little trick you can like fold it like this fold you can fold the sandpaper in half and then press it down and you get a little bit of a like handle do is just get these pitted areas like here you can kind of see it and just smooth it out as much as possible because there's still a little bit of residue that is going to come out in the paint By sanding this down, the paint will just lay on a flatter, which is gonna make it look better. So I'm just gonna keep at it, just finding any spots. I'm just, I'm gonna sand all of this down to get all of that residue out. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm starting to see what looks like it's probably stuff more surface rust. So here, you can barely see, and over here. And then there's obvious like rust around here where it was a water puddle. So I'm not sure if that's coming in from the passenger side quarter panel that was replaced. Um, hopefully not. Uh, or someone left the back open and water got in. So I'm gonna try to sand this down some more too. Hopefully it's not too deep.
there you can see I got pretty pretty far down through the paint the primer and then to bare metal in some places you see here 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 so a little bit of like surface rust here and there but hopefully I got most of that which is good other than that I am I've decided to just do the bottom not do the sides the near the quarter panels it'll just be easier and then if I do the sides where the corner panels are um, I'm gonna have to actually do a wire tuck because I don't like this wire being here so and I feel like the the plastic pieces that actually the covers look good so I think the plastic covers will do good and I won't really have to worry about anything. All right, so we're getting closer to having the car prepped up and ready to get painted. Um, all that's left right now for the prep is just doing the masking off of anywhere that I don't want to paint. So there's not splatters on like the quarter panel and stuff like that. Alright, in terms of paint, this is what we're going to be using. We have two Doopy Color Milano Reds to match the car. Um, and then for the primer, I'm going to be using rust -Oleum's Filler Primer. Hopefully get rid of some of the scratches I wasn't able to get to. And then for the clear coat, which I'm not sure I'm going to be doing, it's just acrylic enamel, again rust -Oleum, 2x coverage. So I might go get some 2K instead, but for now, this should be fine.
first coat is on. It, it's looking all right. So this is how the first coat looks right now. It was actually lighter than I thought. I went pretty heavy, which probably wasn't the best idea. Um, I had to sand down these areas. You can see that they're the primer as well as sadly the, um, the aluminum metal is showing because there was a lot of drips. So I sanded these down again um, over here too. I don't think I'm gonna reprimer this. I think I'm just gonna paint right over it with the color and that should be fine hopefully but the rest looks decent there's a lot of light spots here and there So that was the last layer of color. Next and final is going to be the clear coat. I have the clear coat sitting to the side in water. So that's nice and heated up. But again, this is where we're at. I think that was about three full coats, two or three full coats. I got to go back. Um, and a couple of touch up coats, but it's looking really good. Um, at least for spray paint. spray paint. There's definitely some spots where they're not the best and it's a lot of like orange peel and looks like a little bit of pitting, but for what it is, I will take it. All right, so let's get started with the clear coat and finish this off and get it all wrapped up. So that's the last coat of the gloss clear. Unfortunately, it was still tacky like last time. So there's still some footprints and marks. Um, I let it sit for like three hours, but that wasn't enough time. So I'm hoping letting it sit overnight because it's so cold here that maybe that'll help and then it will completely dry and set. And then tomorrow I can start putting stuff back together and on the car and get it kind of cleaned up and prepped. Other than that, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow and see how it goes. Hopefully it looks good. There's definitely some areas that were not that well done, unfortunately. Maybe if I took my time and did more research and looked into how to properly, um, you know, spray paint in such a cold weather, uh, be it like 40 degrees, maybe less here, that would have probably helped, but it is what it is. I think it still looks good for what it came out to. All right, so we are back. It's the next morning and things are looking good. It was really cold last night. It was probably around 30 degrees or less. So I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't dry properly, but it's actually looking very dry and smooth to the touch. So there's a couple of like little areas that aren't perfect. Um, before what it is, I am pretty happy with it. I think it's gonna look good once we clean it up, clean, get rid of all this stuff and put the wheel back in and also the cover for the fuel tank. So yeah, all in all, looking good. So let's go and clean this up and put everything back together and see how it looks.
So far, so good. Not too bad. All right, now it's time to put the quarter panel plastics back as well as the spare tire and the um, cap for the gas tank. appreciate you watching to the end of the video if you haven't already like and subscribe turn on the notifications as well so you can see other videos coming out and word of advice if you're not uncomfortable you're not growing deuces keep on moving on